Oh, the University Rover Challenge was really an awesome experience. So, off the East Coast, we have trees covering everything. We have grass and, you know, rain falls and we have rivers. So you should step out onto the Mars Research Station, you're in the desert. And, uh, you know, like the surface of Mars, I have pictures, I have been there, of course, but uh, that's what the pictures look like. And uh, it was really surreal. And then the, the, the station itself, the, the HAB, as they call it, uh, I thought it was really cool. I mean, space exploration, I always had a fascination for it, and uh, put a little closer to it like that was uh, a great experience. Oh, getting to Utah was fascinating. I gotta call it fascinating. We flew in through Vegas, uh, just because you know, there was a big volume of flights and it was easier to get things timed. Uh, my wife came with me. The drive up there, it's a long go. Uh, the scenery, just spectacular. And you know, it changed from the sort of hot deserty uh, Las Vegas, you know, Nevada desert, up through the sort of edge of some canyons in uh, Arizona some really winding highways, and then up through some sort of high country that was green and had water around it, mountains, snow tip mountains, uh, and then we're back down into Canyonland. The Utah Canyon is very different, so really cool, just, just incredible. judging the competition, it's important that judging get done well. And I'd like to say that it really contributed to it, but the credit goes to the you know, the multi-year people that were the, the chief judges. They were the real effort. They all did a great job. Uh, I was there as a first time junior judge. I was just happy to be there. I got to help make sure the teams followed the rules on the course and you know, consulted with the, the senior judges. The, the reality is senior judges did the heavier lifting. I was thrilled to be there as a, a hanger on junior judge. These are university students. Um, you know, it's not like they got years and years of experience in doing this. Uh, you know, they come up with their own technical vision and their hypotheses of what will work. They do all this hard work to develop it. And then you go and you look at these rovers and some of them are just so sophisticated. It uh, totally, it was just totally impressive. Enjoyed every bit of it. Loved the environment. Loved the energy. Loved the thinking, the passion, the, you know, and, and the engagement of what they're doing. And certainly, you know, mechanical design, electrical design controls, you know, focus on a, on a task like that. It's just good, great to be around that, really great to be around that.